the control panel for the swing. And all this controls is the speed of the swing. And there's three lights here. The red means that it has stopped. Um, and you can make it go to three different speeds. And on the first speed, the power will turn to, or the light will turn to green. And it goes pretty slow and subtle. My nieces absolutely love this swing. They sleep very good in it. Um, even though we bought this for Brock, um, we have definitely broke it in with my nieces. That is the first speed. And this is the second. It's just a tad bit faster. And I do notice when the babies are actually in it, it does go a little bit faster than what it does now. I don't know if it's just because of the weight. But it's very quiet now. But when there is a baby in it, it seems like there's a squeaking when it moves back and forth. That's the only thing that I do not like about this because um, it tends to get pretty loud. Um, but we have gotten used to the sound, so it doesn't um, bother us too much. But when I first heard it, it really got on my nerves. Um, but that is the highest speed that it goes. Um, so it has three levels. Um, this just goes back down to stop. And this controls the sound up and down. And it does get pretty loud. And this controls the music and sounds that it has. Nature sound. And that's all the sounds that it has. does have these little cute toys that they can reach and play with. There's also this little turtle that is connected to the safety belt that can come off. It's very cute and it just matches the fabric. This is the headrest. this is not only is it a swing but it is a bouncy seat also or you can use it as kind of like a lounger I guess but it has these two handles right here and all you have to do is lift up and it snaps out and you can set it to the side while the baby's still in the seat. It has these curved legs so that when the baby's in it out from the swing you can rock the baby. And it also has this um, <clears throat> where you can push vibrate and this takes 1D battery and it vibrates the seat which is very very nice um, the twin girls really like it it has this toy thing and it does remove very easy you just pull it out so you don't have to have that on there and in the way all the time. It has the headrest and this is very soft. Um, and if you don't want to use it, you can flip it over and it is out of the way. Yep, out of the way. And this is a, in, a newborn insert to kind of just cradle around them and it makes it much softer. <laughs> Be careful. And it's very plush and soft. And it's very um, comfortable. I love the print. It's very cute and it's gender neutral. And I Don't think they may have a couple other um, prints. So, along with the seat, um, it also has where you could change positions. And all you have to do is turn it and it can go sideways. See. One other thing that I kind of wish it did was kind of like the Mama Roo. If it does, I have not figured it out how you 
you may have to push that um, but I think you can you're supposed to be able to change the um, where it's inclined a little bit for as the baby gets older but I have not figured that out yet so um, if you have one of these and you have done that let me know it may not even incline but I thought it did so um, you can see the the rod up underneath there so it's supposed to be able to scoot up so it sits up a little bit it, <clears throat> excuse me it kind of mimics the mamaru um, but it's nowhere near overall I do really like this swing um, there is just those two features that I mentioned that I do not care about. Um, if I could figure out how you incline it, that would be knocked off. But it does have a squeak when a baby is in it.